Hello everybody and welcome to tutorial number 4 uh, In this one we are gonna place some models and sprites into a map and also change the skybox uh, First you're gonna need to navigate to this mapping site I will link it to the description again Go to the compiler and compile tools and you're gonna download resource generator Now this is a program that's needed when you are using models and sprites or sounds or skybox textures and stuff like that anything that's not default so you're gonna extract this wherever you want really I'm gonna put it to the main folder like that then you're gonna go and open your batch compiler and now we're gonna attach the resource generator into this patch compiler you're gonna check the region box here on the right then go to options set up uh, states path and then you're gonna go find the rest 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 gen part here and then you're gonna find the X file we just place here click on open make sure it's ok click ok save the preset then you can close that now we can go place some models into the map I'm gonna use the tutorial 3 map I made last time so I don't have to make a new one go to the entity tool and then you're gonna go select cycler or cycler sprite now uh, what cycler does is that it makes the model solid so that players cannot pass through it but some models have really shitty hit boxes so I really recommend you use cycle sprite instead you will have to make the model solid yourself but this is still the better method to do this so just place this entity wherever you want go to edit and properties go to model and sprite then you're gonna select from your C strike folder from the models folder you're just gonna select something I have this commander folder set up here so I'm gonna select some palm tree from it so select the model and then just click on close the window and you should see it pop up like this if it doesn't you have some uh, settings incorrect or you are using the wrong version of hammer or many things that could be wrong if you can't see the models here so gonna move that to the side a bit and now because this is not solid players can go through this and they can, they can shoot through it so we need to make it solid to look it to make it look a bit more realistic now I'm gonna first method I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the clip texture uh, this is a texture that is invisible in game players can't go through it but they can shoot through it so this is actually really useful for blocking out areas and stuff like that but I will tell you more about invisible invisible walls or in some other tutorial also when you want to make some special shapes you can go from this objects drop down menu you can select all kinds of fun fun things so because it's a tree I'm going to use the cylinder now to make the block blocking look or feel a bit more realistic so make a cylinder then you just need to place it on the right about the right spot doesn't really matter where it is give it some height and now you have your th first uh, three here now uh, this will block players but it won't block bullets and it will also not cast a shadow which is a bit unrealistic of course because it's a tree it should cast a shadow so if you want it to cast a shadow you're gonna need to do this just select them both shift and drag and now select the cylinder and then just select some random texture for it really doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not clip or null or skybox or water or something like that just select some normal texture like this like there now we're gonna make the actual block invisible you're gonna go to your keyboard and hit ctrl T you're gonna tie it to funk wall go to render mode select additive and put zero in the FX amount 
Now, if you wanted to also block light, which means it will cast a shadow, go to the light flux part and select opaque blocks light. So render mode additive, FX amount 0 and opaque blocks light in the light flux. Now, we could place a small flame here maybe. First I'm gonna make a small pedestal for it so it doesn't look stupid. Now we're gonna do the actual flame with an entity called N Sprite which is here. Now as you can see nothing happened when I clicked that's because I have some kind of default sprite selected there or something but it still did appear you can't see it in the 3D window but you can see it right here this purple box this is the enemy sprite right now so select that go to edit and properties go to the sprite name and I'm gonna select some flame for this and now you can't see anything again because I changed the sprite on it now as you can see the flame is huge if I leave it like this doesn't really look good I'm gonna go to properties again and change the scale to 1.5 maybe let's see yeah that looks good now because I know this flame is one of those that has a black background I will need to also change the render mode now additive also means that any black parts on a texture will disappear so I will need to select this to make the background of the flame invisible I will explain this a bit later or well I'll just make another block here so you will see the difference when it doesn't have the render mode so I'm just gonna leave this to normal and this is additive you will see the difference in game in a, in a second now we're gonna change the skybox go to map and map properties now you will need to write the skybox name into this environment map CL sky name now you can find all of your skybox textures in the C strike folder, G GFX and go to N. Uh, these are all skybox textures. You might have many of these or you might have n none, but you can always download these from the web. I will link some pages for these to the description. Now because I have the light environment in the map that's blue, I'm gonna search some blue texture for this. Maybe this blue sky would be good. Now even though the name here is blue blue sky dn blue sky lf these are just shorts of left right up down back and so on front so you're gonna leave the re uh, last part out uh, the direction you're gonna leave it out so the actual skybox name is blue sky so you're gonna leave the back or down or front you're gonna leave that off and just type the actual name of the skybox not the di direction at the end so the name of this skybox is blue sky so you're gonna write that here or whatever you wanna use I'm, I'm gonna use this sky now so do that now you can also view these skybox files in different programs seems to me that photoshop photoshop if is my default program so for these I'm not gonna open them now but you can open them yourself and check what you have there so now we change the skybox we put some models in our map and we have a sprite here that's a flame you can go save this and then export to map gonna or maybe I'm gonna put it as tutorial 4 you can close that go to your batch compiler now you have the res resource generator here so you don't have to manually do it select tutorial for that map hit on run should compile pretty fast and as you can see it it, run, uh, it used the resource generator at the end here no errors I can close that 
Now because we used some custom stuff you're gonna need to put the uh, put those those things you used also in the this download folder you're gonna upload some site for example. So we used some models, we used some sprites and we used a skybox. Now this structure here has to be exactly the same as in your Counter-Strike folder. If you go to check your actual folder you can see in the C-Strike folder you have GFX, Env, then you have sprites, you have sound and you have models. So you have to make sure the path is the same here. So C-Strike, models, sprites, maps and so on. Now I used models from the commander folder so I'm gonna take this whole thing copy it here and I'm just gonna remove the ones I didn't use quickly like that now it's the same structure as in the Valhammer then we use the flame sprite you're gonna go have to fi find that too I used this KSBLT Copy that in there. Now in the maps, you're gonna go to your hammer output folder. Mine is in hammer 2 and maps. Gonna select tutorial 4.bsp and the resource file. Copy those both into the maps folder. Now you can open this resource file with notepad for example. And you can always remove these player model uh, lines from the resource file they are not needed here. So you can just remove those and leave the rest as it, as it is. Now as you can see here's the skybox we used, here's the uh, palm tree and here's here's the flame we used. Now resource files tell the server uh, what files the map uses so these are very important that you make this every time you use some custom stuff like we just did to the GFX N we're gonna need to find the blue sky skybox texture we just used copy all of those two and there you have your folder structure or setup models are there sprite is there BSP and res is there and the skybox is there gonna close all the unnecessary things then you can just copy this into your counter strike folder copy and replace then I'm gonna open counter strike and let's see what we did new game tutorial 4 yeah as at least the models are showing there you have the sprites too. Now, as you can see, this is the palm tree where we only have the clip. I can't walk through it, but as you can see, I can shoot the block. Like that. So it doesn't block bullets, but it blocks players. And the another, another method makes it look a bit better maybe. It casts a sh shadow from it and it blocks the player like this and it will also block bullets as you can see so really useful and it looks a, a bit better than the clip uh, texture on now here we have our flames now as you can see when I didn't select the additive render mode the, the black background texture of the sprite is still there and when I selected it, you can see the black disappears and it only leaves the flame sprite. Now, the sprite is basically a two-dimensional image that, that just turns uh, which way ever way the player is facing, so it looks like it's a 3D thing, but it really isn't. Now, as you can see, the flames also don't emit any light, that's because sprites don't emit any light you're gonna have to put the lights there yourself so just make a light entity and place it in the middle change the col color to orange or something then it will look like it would be the flame that 
flame that is actually casting the light. So, oh uh, yeah, and the skybox. As you can see, I don't know if you remember what we had last time, but now it's a different. Now it's the bl blue sky that I selected. I didn't change the light environment we made last time, so the light still comes from there. It's still blue, but the skybox is different now. You should uh, really focus on choosing the right skybox. It makes like 50% of the map's at atmosphere, so it's really important that you choose the right one. Okay, I hope this was helpful and see you on the next tutorial.